Starting a career of Capri Campbell, we picking up with him in high school where he's a wide receiver in Atlanta. We're trying to see where he's going to go in college. He has to get a scholarship. This season, he actually is doing kick returns and punt returns. First game of the season, he returns his first kickoff. This man got wheels and we all know that. He looking like a great prospect already. He has no scholarships from his junior year. He didn't impress anybody. So senior year is his only chance to. A couple games later, he does a punt return that he brings back. He gets one defender to miss immediately. Gets around a second one. Crosses him up for the screen. Takes it down the sideline where he breaks a tackle. Tippy toes the sideline and stays inbounds for a touchdown. He's spotting up at receiver one this season. And he's out running his current cornerback. Jumps right over him and finishes this play. Looking dominant up until he gets injured. The very next game he looks downfield for a deep pass and the quarterback throws him in a double coverage. He get hit. That sidelines Capri for the rest of his senior year. He only got to play five games, but at least he got to show what he could do. He got a personal invite from Louisiana Tech to come look at their stadium, look at their dorm rooms, look at their campus to see if this is somewhere he would like to play. As months went by, no other real schools was a good option for him, so he decided to commit to Louisiana Tech because they showed a lot of interest. Three-star wide receiver out of Atlanta, Georgia, Capri Campbell is definitely one of the pieces that they needed here in Louisiana Tech. He not in the starting lineup. He gonna have to work for it. To be specific, he is currently wide receiver five before the season even started. He's behind a couple good receivers. Marlon Jackson is one. He got to compete to get past him. Remember, Capri is coming off an injury. We don't trust Capri yet. He got to show himself better than Dakotas Crawford, Abdul Ibrahim, and the starting wide receiver, True Edwards. This is a far reach to think I'm going to be wide receiver one this year. Probably not, but we're going to keep our hopes up. Offensive coordinator talking to me, telling me that life as a collegiate athlete isn't easy. Telling me to keep my head on straight, study, go to class, focus, all that type of stuff. In reality, I'm just wondering, is they going to redshirt me this freshman year? Or should I be expecting some type of playing time? So I'm out here working hard in practice. Routing up this DB. I am making good plays, great catches since I haven't played football in so long after the injury in high school. I'm showing this team they made a good idea about recruiting me me and I'm not letting him down. Break his ankles, break out, and hit a little dance in practice. Showing him a little swagger. Get upfield, great catch, great run. I'm showing elusiveness and star power in my route running. My routes are good until I got locked up here. I don't think the quarterback gonna have that much time in the pocket for me to get open, but our first game is against an FCS school. This is pretty much a walk in the park of our first debut game, and I played the bench the whole game. I ain't see a second, a lick. I ain't had to lace up for real. Not as much of a blowout as I expected, but definitely a dominating win in our first week. My tight end, Nate Jones, tried to tell me it's tradition to ride around an upperclassman. I tell that man, honestly, I ain't doing it. I got better things to do than to dry y'all around, which makes my leadership take a decrease on the team. Looking at my leadership is completely empty, so we're going to begin to start working on that so I get more coach trust so I could then get more PT on the field. Another thing I need to focus on is academics, obviously because I can't play on the field without it, but because it gives gives me a boost to coach trust and it can help me become a starting wide receiver. So I'm going to be practicing all in the meantime, running in and out of my blockers with this challenge, getting to each threshold. Look at how I'm juking in between lanes. I finish with a big dive into the end zone. Once again, we just get a straight rush, slide in between that, cut in between that, tippy toe to sideline because we don't want to step out of bounds. This is a great exercise to make sure I stay within bounds when I'm on the field. This is to help me better juke my opponents and get behind my blockers when I do get screen plays call for me as a wide receiver next game we play is against nc state and honestly i don't know if we stand a chance or not based on the fact that my team isn't that good but the bright side we did take them to overtime ultimately we did lose that game after that game i decided to go to the coach's office and ask if i could become an actual receiver and get playing time because i don't want to be redshirted this year coach agreed that i should be able to show my talent to see if i'm ready to play this year or if i should be redshirted so he gave me a position battle on the phone he told me to stay after practice a little longer and that's exactly what I did right when we got to go I got to go to get on the field we are running screen plays and handoffs broke his ankles and got a touchdown they run in these kind of plays to see how good we are at handoffs and screens and I absolutely hurdled my defender but I couldn't get in the end zone because I slipped that single-handedly won me the position battle but they want to see how great my route running is downfield and oh my goodness I surprised myself with this I'm not gonna lie my route running has a 
a lot of room for improvement, but I'm impressing myself above all else since I haven't played football in so long because of my injury. Just to see that I'm so far along in my route running and catching, got both feet down before falling out of bounds, I'm just really performing greatly. And I think I'm impressing the coach because he definitely wanted to give me an opportunity on the field after seeing my performance in this position battle. I don't think I could have got any better. Final play was a post route deep into the end zone, got both feet down. He giving me an opportunity next week. Now that the week is here, I'm so excited to get on the field for the first time. I'm absolutely disappointed that I've never gotten on the field the whole game. I thought coach and I had an understanding. Just like I thought, coach put me fourth on the depth chart. That means I'm supposed to be a slot receiver. Hopefully next week, we are actually getting playing time. We're going up against FIU. This is a team that I would like to play against. They're not that good. I should get my feet wet in college football and I don't play again. And we also lose another game. It's not like he's not giving me playing time because we're playing well. We're losing every Every game. Then after the game, a reporter asked me about our losing streak, and I throw my coach right under the bus because I'm frustrated with the coach, and he been lying to me. Obviously, what I said to the reporter got back to my coach, and I lost coach trust. The coach lost my trust because I can't get on the field like he promised. Coach tried to bring the team together to talk to us, throwing subliminals at me, giving an indirect speech about what we say to the media, even though I'm the only one that said something to the media. We get a win after this losing streak, and my teammates decide to chop it up with me because he see that I'm frustrated I've been getting into it with the coach he tell me to chill he lets me know that he going through something similar because he wanted more playing time when he first got here but you ain't the star of the team this ain't your high school anymore and next week we end up getting another win so it's something to be proud of the team is building momentum the campus is even getting better I get invited to a party I decide to go with a little chill response I say bet give me the location it's a nice hotel my teammates is even out there I'm surprised this was a good change of pace because I was getting frustrated with the team this was good to keep my mind off of it later on that week we go up against UTEP and honestly I'm surprised I get playing time during a blowout but I get playing time first play I come out for is a simple running play so basically I'm just here to block and I shove my match up to the ground hey I'm frustrated next play I get to run a route hit him with a stop and go thought I was gonna get a take off upfield he clamped that up and throw me to the ground for revenge route I'm supposed to run is a comeback I don't know what my quarterback thought the route was but obviously there was miscommunication he throws an interception he looking frustrated in himself I'd be frustrated too if I do something stupid like that once again I get open in separation quarterback overthrows me come on man this was a simple stop route I'm wide open he don't hit me so I spin off the cornerback he don't even throw it over the top he throws it behind me come on I'm ready to get off of this route all I can do at this point is get back into practice and just keep working on my skills even if the coach ain't appreciating it with playing time even if my QB trash this cornerback is having difficulties keeping up with me and I'm the third string receiver bro obviously I deserve to be better or we need a better roster around us the quarterback and me have no chemistry we're not clicking he's not putting the ball where I need it another game day let's see if I get PT this game against Sam Houston I get checked in the game in the first quarter third and eight we need a first down let's see if I can help us get it I run my route naturally quarterback hits me I'm not even open what are you seeing on the field what are you throwing? Coach get mad at me on the sideline because I give up on the play and I don't hawk down my target. I don't know what you want me to do. Don't throw that pass. Obviously, we lose that game, but it was only by a touchdown. Next game, we could have a better performance. We should have a better performance. Let's bounce back. What do they do? Put me out there in the fourth quarter. I don't get to play any real minutes. And this is just an absolute terrible display. I don't know what's going on with this roster. We are losing another game. This week in practice, our terrible coach trying to give us words of motivation. I don't know what he trying to do. But we end up getting blown out by the second quarter. Finally put me out on the field. This is our chance to score before halftime. We putting everybody on verticals. I get up field right here. I actually get separation, and where are you throwing the ball? These aren't even our fans, and they're booing the quarterback. That is embarrassing. 
That's embarrassing to have the other team boo the quarterback. They're supposed to be cheering that their team is winning. We lose by 18 points. I don't know what to do with this organization. This is not how my college experience I expected it to go. Hopefully this game against Arkansas, I actually get touches. Look at this. I get a hit over the middle and I get a catch. Beautiful. That's progress. Keep looking my way. He looks my way again. Beautiful. But I dropped the ball and I didn't run out to the first down. Freshman mistake. I need to make sure I'm targeting that first down line. I'm going to get better. I just need snaps. We so deep into the year, I should have been having snaps. Once again, I missed the first down marker. I needed snaps earlier in the year, so these type of things wouldn't even be new to me. I'm running a crossing route. Quarterback decides to hit the underneath. We actually get a win. I'm not saying it's because they start passing me the ball, but hey, you put the ball in my hands, good things start happening. Final game of the season and Coach is giving us a talk in our final practice. I'm going to be honest. I ain't listening to nothing he say. He never going to see me again. I'm getting out of here. Final game of the season, we going up against Kinsaw State and I get hit over the middle, but that don't deter me from getting physical with the other team. Set my block. I get bumped again, but I take that collision and get wide open, take another bump, break another tackle. I'm gone from the there it's a tough game and i'm ready to get physical i don't care first touchdown of my collegiate career comes in the final game of the season you should have been giving me pt all year coach the quarterback is now noticing that i'm a tough player to bring down just put the ball in my hand i'm gonna make a play from that point on i could see a light bulb went off in his head because he was targeting me instantly after that i don't know this is simple corner route and he's been hitting the underneath pass every time now he feels safe to hit me with my toe tab I get both feet down and bounce. I'm talented. Again, we going over the middle. Hit me. Bow. I get hit in the back and I drop the ball. That's the first drop of my career. It's okay. My hand's going to get better. Catch the defense sleeping over top and I'm to the races. I'm gone. Here's the difference between high school and college. I ain't got the speed to outrun these DBs. I got to get in the gym and work on my quickness. I should have got gone, but he hawked me down. He caught me, prevented another touchdown. Now it's 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Quarter, we're down a touchdown and they look my way thread the needle with the quarterback 20 seconds left and the clock is rolling again the defense gets out my way we get into great position clock is still rolling we decide to do a hurry up offense only three seconds have shed off the clock again the defense isn't guarding me drive down the field for a touchdown to tie the game all we need to do is hit this field goal to tie the game to send us to overtime and everything is going to be great how do you miss the field goal? I caught for over 200 yards, two touchdowns, and y'all sell the game by missing a field goal? If y'all didn't know already, I'm leaving this team. There's nothing else that I need to prove. I did everything that I could do as a collegiate athlete. I need a new roster around me. The newspaper hit me up. You about to finish this year with a disappointing record. How you reflect after a tough season? I throw my teammates under the bus. I say I regret playing with a team that don't have as much talent aside from me. I wish we had better players, and that's facts. And a coach. And the coach trash. I will 100% be entering the transfer portal.